All right, so Ryan Goss, I, I know you hear it from women all the time. Oh my I God. love the notebook, but here it is. African American man, <laughs> and I, I love didn't you and Rachel McAdams. You didn't notice, yeah? No, I, I just saw a person. Like but yeah. all right, and That's I love fine. the Notebook. You know, so so it's, it's great to finally have a chance to to meet you and uh, interview you for this movie, which which I also love, Crazy Stupid Love. So, oh. my my first question to you is, uh, for for a recently divorced man or somebody that's contemplating divorce, is it a wise idea to hang out with somebody with that's a player like Jacob's character? Uh, are you? Get, is that you? <laughs> no, it's not me. Who are we talking about here? We're, Just a fictitious. Yeah, this, fictitiously. Uh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So, in a fictitious world, should a fictitious guy about to get a divorce <laughs> hang out with? Yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's fine. Sure. I mean, in a fictitious world, it's fine. In reality? No. 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 Well, I loved all the lines that you used on, on the women to get them to leave with you. And I, I hear that you had to do some studying uh, for, do some books for the, for the lines. Did, did you actually go out and, and try these lines on, on anybody? And would anybody no. like, you know? Nobody would ever fall for that. <laughs> I think that your friend Hannah is really sexy. Oh my God. You did not just say that. How old are you? What are you, a lawyer? Yeah. A little bit. Come on. I know. You are? Is she? Gonna be. Don't you think you're a little old to be using cheesy pickup lines? Objection. Leading the witness. <laughs> wow, Hannah, you're really wearing that dress like you're doing it a favor. Oh, God. That's a line. <laughs> Me sitting over there for the past two hours not being able to take my eyes off of you is a fact. I find you very attractive. Do you find me attractive? She does. I don't. You do? She does? Yes, she does. I, do, I don't. Permission to approach the bench? Seriously? Just come on, let me... Let me deliver my closing argument. Sure, proceed. Anna, we live in a physical world, right? Uh-huh. And you're going to age, right? Mm-hmm. I guarantee you this, you're never gonna regret going home with that guy from the bar that one time that was a total tomcat in the sack. But I can't guarantee that you won't not regret it. That was a double negative. You're a double negative. Okay, it's, you know what, it's time to go home. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow, it's forward of you, but okay. Yeah. I'll do it. I T-boned saw three. So, should I get my car or yours? Should I pull the car around? Have you been drinking? I'll drive. You do a lot with uh, Steve Carell's wardrobe. And, and how much of wardrobe do you think plays a part in, you know, our, our attraction to women? Do, does it, is it all a part of, you know, being clean cut with the five-piece outfits? Um, five piece. I mean, you, yeah, Steve Carell. You're not messing like, around. <laughs> sweating under it's like. True, he did have a lot of sweaters, <laughs> yeah, sweaters and jackets, yeah. and turtlenecks. Um, Are you I a wardrobe think, guy? Do I think like clothes make the man sort yeah. of thing? Well, I don't really know. I mean, I feel like you know when you're an actor, you put on different clothes, and it changes your. It just it, it has it affects the way that you act. Mm -hmm. So there might be some truth in it. I don't. I don't really. I, I'm not, I don't know. I'm not an authority on this, so I can't really comment. How much money you got today for clothes? Um, how's What happened to your feet? What do you mean? These are my 407s. Oh, they're 407s. Can I see them? Yeah. These offer a lot of support. Right. Whoa, come on! What are you, in a fraternity? Are you insane? Are you in a fraternity? You could have hit somebody. Are what you? was that? I'm asking you a question. You in a fraternity? No. Are you Steve Jobs? What? Hold on a second. Are you the billionaire owner of Apple computers? No. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, you got no right to wear New Balance sneakers ever. Come on. Mm -hmm. When you're playing on a cast with such great talent, does it help bring more out of you, or is it, or is it you're just still the, the same task for you? Does it, does it help you a little bit? Yeah, I mean, it's, I can't tell you how much it helps. You know, they're the greatest. I mean, I'm a fan of every one of these actors, and so getting to work with them all in one movie was just um, a relief, because I've never done a film like this before, so I just knew that even if whatever my part didn't work, that the rest of the film still would. Yeah, and, and lastly, uh, you being, not having done many comedies before, and, and you slammed this role, do you think that might be something that You'll explore more in, in the future, future roles, maybe a little comedic relief. Well, I 
think, okay, so I, I was getting stressed out with the movies I was making. I, went, I had to go to a physical for the doctor, and he gave me a prescription, and I read it, and it said do a comedy. And so I did it, and I think that I do feel better, so there's probably some... <laughs> Probably some. Uh, I'll probably. I would like to do it again, but I would like to do it with the same people. Yeah. You know, I got kind of spoiled on this one. Yeah. Well, we get spoiled by your talent, man. You keep on doing stuff. We'll keep on watching. You're a great actor. Thanks, man.